man who knows a thing or two about the Armed Forces Army veteran and Kansas Senator Roger, Dr. Marshall. Uh, Roger, good to see you. Thanks for joining us, Senator. Good to see you. Um, this, this story is unbelievable. We want to take illegal immigrants, put them in the military. If you have, uh, you know, uh, folks in the, in the military from, from Kansas or Wisconsin or Alabama, they're Americans. You put people in the military that aren't Americans, that aren't loyal to the Constitution, I think this is a massive problem for the country. It is, Sean. Think about this. My dad served, my brother served, I served, my son is serving. This is not the military that we signed up for, right? Listen, does it make sense to Americans to kick soldiers out of the military who refused the COVID vaccine, but now we're going to admit uh, illegal migrants? It makes no sense to anybody, but this is what Democrats do. They create a crisis then they try to solve it. In this case, two crises. 10,000 illegal immigrants came across the border. They're wandering the country, eating up social programs. And then the other crisis they've created is decreased recruiting. They've gone so woke that our recruiting numbers are down. And then they're going to try to solve it with this. It makes no sense to us. Uh, this is hurting our military. This types of concepts hurts our militaries. As long as they're focused on pronouns rather than lethality, their recruiting numbers are going to be bad. They actually had the audacity the army to try and get the the service members who were kicked out because they refused um, they were kicked out because they didn't take the covid vaccine tried to get them back in and it was after they their lives were virtually destroyed and their families and i just with dick durbin i don't follow what he has to say all that much but how serious was he was it a trial balloon I, how how what should we read into him saying that? Well, first of all, Dagan, 8,000 soldiers were dismissed from the military because they refused the COVID vaccine. And now they want to take them back in, and it doesn't feel very good. We want to make sure that they have an honorable discharge. We work to get that and make sure they get their retirement funds. So we're still working on that. As far as Senator Durbin's statement here, I think it is a trial balloon. I think he's out there fishing for a solution, but in the meantime, not facing the real problem, right? They do not want to secure the border. That's the question we got to keep coming back to is why does Joe Biden not want to secure the border? And what is the answer to that? Because I ask that all the time. Well, they don't have one. So I think that they're willing to sacrifice 300 young Americans every day to fentanyl poisoning to allow 10,000 of these migrants to come into our, into our country. And they think that's the future of the Democrat Party are those 10,000 illegal immigrants. That's all I can figure out. But don't they listen to all of the residents in Chicago, all of those women who are at the ready to get in front of a microphone and scream to the high heavens that these illegals are destroying their communities and, and soaking up resources that do not belong to them. That they literally are deaf and blind and have lost all sense of smell and even the ability to think. Well, well Dagan, I think that this immigration lobby that lobbies the Democrats is so, so strong. It's the same people that are saying death to Israel, the anti-Semitics. It's this real strong lobby out there that are much stronger than I, than I would have ever realized until I got to D.C. So they are kissing the, um, the, uh, the, the people on that far side of that lobby there and, and, and catering to their needs right now as well. So evidently it's a strong, loud lo lobby. And again, they must want these 10,000 migrants that come across the border every day. You know, there's, I think this is a globalist movement. They want to see a world with no borders and they want to start with with America. You, you take away your borders, let anyone come as they see fit um, and get rid of nation, get rid of citizenship. Uh, and I think that's how crazy these Democrats have become. And you hear a lot of people talk about um, compromise. You can't compromise with a group of people who believe this is the way it should be. They don't want to secure the border. Be honest about it. Be clear about it. And you see that every day, Senator. We want to thank you for joining us, making the trip up from D.C. to join us at the table. That's awesome. Great show. We appreciate being here. Thank you. Watch your wallet. There you go.